We're gonna be late, bud. All right, here we are. We're uh, well, we're turned around a little bit. Uh, boy, the pond looks nice. Get some fishing in there. Okay, we're well, we're we're in route to uh, Austria. Uh, it's around here somewhere. And then when we get there, we're gonna be going to the Red Bull Ring short track today. We're gonna take a look at the qualifier, and then we're gonna have the main event for some elbows out racing. And then at the end, we're gonna head over to Italy. Uh, oh boy, I gotta drive to Italy today. But we'll we'll find we'll find Italy and then we're heading to Monza to take a look at the track for the race next week. Let's go. Saying it doesn't really matter if he doesn't get here or not, but we'll the car today. He's always way to park. Just relax, Nick. It'll be fine. Welcome everybody. We're here at the Red Bull Ring short track in Austria for twenty three laps around. Uh medium compound tires are required. The softs are also available if you want to use them. Uh, we will end up using both in our race, but first we set out for our qualifier. We actually got a qualifying this week in the video. There's only five minutes available. If you look up there at the course map on the right hand side of the screen, you can see that we're coming out as pit lane often does after the finish line. So we're going to have to go around the track, warm our tires up and come around for our entire flying lap next so everyone's just giving each other some room finding a place to slot in some guys want to try to use slipstream during the qualifying event some guys don't want to get held up in a corner uh, since the group three and and the group four subaru i really focus on apex speed swinging the car around a lot i just want open air you see a ford gt behind us there just tucking in he's probably gonna have our slipstream on the straight he certainly doesn't need it okay here we go. So the qualifying technically starts about here. Got to get a good exit on that final turn. Come up the hill. It is, I believe, four in the morning race time, which is why you can see the moon's out. It's a little dark. The track is cold. Getting this turn right is very important for your time as it continues up the hill after the right-hander. Downhill right-hander, which is kind of easy to scrub wide. Try to tuck it in, get as close as you can to that inside curve, wait for a late apex, power out early, shift the car to the left as smoothly as possible, get the power down, full throttle. You can see these yellow dots here are where people will be serving their penal time penalties during the race, and in qualifying if you happen to get one. Uh, this is my favorite section here, sent that a little wide, definitely could have gotten that better. Try to hook up a good downhill apex there. Okay, let's see what our qualifying time is. Feel okay about that lap. Uh, my record was 151. We're about six tenths off my record. We end up, uh, since we're out and the tires are already warmed up, we're just gonna try to set it around one more time and see if we can improve. So these guys got into a little scuffle here. Ended up some penalties, they both quit out. So we come around the final turn then, let's see. It didn't feel like a better lap than it's not. Okay, well that puts us in second place right now, so unless anyone in the net following two minutes uh, puts in a faster time than that, we should uh, look forward to starting second on the grid. First round, round one, new season. Here we go, you can see we are second there on the grid. Give a little flash for you. Hello, Mrs. So Marble on pole position racing for PSRT. Got her updated livery for the season. We'll fly down through the rest of the track here. These guys are all going to make a feature in the video. Uh, TRX Dave for sure. Also, ATK. We're going to follow along with him a little later to show how what it's like being trapped in the middle of the pack, as well as Supreme New York. Uh, as the race starts, Edible Colombo, we've seen him a lot, and that rounds out the grid. Here we are then, we can get started, and we are in the Group 4 Subaru today, which in this class, uh, in the manufacturer series, is down on power, uh, particularly in the straights. So there's 
going to be a focus on slipstream, trying to stay in full slipstream on the straights and let them tow me down the track. We head off then, tuck into Mrs. So Marvel's slipstream, checking our mirror a little bit to see how well of launch this Audi got behind us. And coming through the first turn, as is kind of something that I, a position I find myself in quite commonly in lap one of these races, is I'm about to get passed. Um, <laughs> So we're trying to get the traction down here. Tires are still cold. No real opportunity for me to weave them around and warm them up on that straight because I need all the speed I can get. So I can see that uh, our friend back here does have a bit of a run on us. We'll look and see how he is coming quick enough. I'm gonna let off the gas just a little bit. Try to let him have the corner. Kind of waits a little longer to turn in than I'd have liked, but that's his prerogative. Uh, we tuck right back in and headed down the hill. Still got slipstream, not feeling too terribly much pressure from Ford Fairlane behind us, who I raced with a uh, number of times this day. Really clean racer, um, which is gonna play a, we're gonna fast forward here a little bit. That's gonna play a role in some of the decisions I make while I'm racing. Um, I was around uh, Ford Fairlane in a number of the races and uh, noted that he wasn't really, or she, wasn't really gonna go for any crazy lunges really put me out. You can see I missed that corner a little bit there. I know someone was kind of behind me. I'm looking for them. They're not there. I see them in my rear view. Okay. I guess they got that corner bad too. As I look forward, whoa, there they are. Okay. He had been in my blind spot. TRX Dave. A pretty good start. I think he's come up from maybe fifth or sixth on pole already. We're on lap four now. Uh, you can see Ford Fairlane is still in my rear view. Nice and close. Um, because I know the brace is clean, I'm just gonna stick on the racing line, and if they, he wants to shoot up the inside, that's all right, I'll leave him some space. But I don't suspect he's going to, so I'm gonna keep my wide racing line here. He does stay behind. Maybe just wants to use a slipstream, save a little fuel, um, save the tires a little bit. And up the hill, I'm gonna go just a little defensive to feel him out and see if he juts in there for a move. He does not, so I was right in what I suspected. It's just going to let us have a couple laps of racing before he gets tired of us being a little bit in his way, but that actually doesn't come to pass. You can see as we fast forward here again, just dropped back a little bit. We have a little bit of open air to work with. On lap eight now, and coming around the uh, middle S section of the track, you can see there's a little bit of a fight up ahead of us, like Mike and TRX Dave. TRX Dave's looking to get through. even a bit. I'm making sure I stick on the wide racing line and get as good a run as I can. Like Mike picks up a penalty, assumingly on that last corner. TRX Dave goes up the inside, kind of plays it a little bit defensive, but they're just going to slot in. And we are able then to catch up a little bit. Their fighting brought them back to us. We think about a move here, but he already has that penalty. It's really difficult to make a move cleanly here on the S section, so we'll just tuck back in behind him. The penalty line's just up ahead. Uh, we're gonna be able to get by coming out of this corner onto the straight. So I'm gonna pull over to the left. He's gonna stay over to the right. The cars do ghost out uh, when they serve their penalties, so you can't hit them, but it's not always the case. So it's just good practice to make sure you're not directly behind somebody when they're about to serve a penalty. Like Mike slips in behind us, just continue on kind of like we were about the same gap we've just jostled the order around a little bit up the hill then really happy I have some slipstream maybe just a little touch of it not a lot we're a little far back Gonna fast forward here a little bit and coming around this corner we are on the racing softs you can see on the bottom left there front left is really starting to get worn down as TRX Dave heads into the pits to change his tires. We're gonna go around one more time. We were catching him a little bit, so I feel like my pace is still pretty good. We'll fly around one more time. I'll be pinning at the end of this lap. Let's take a look at, and this is so Marvel, is absolutely on rails. Ooh, almost got that wrong again. Thankfully, we don't have any pressure from behind. These tires are starting to go off. That front left is in really bad shape. We're, we're on board with Mrs. So Marvel now. Really clean race. You can see her tire wear is very even. Uh, she's doing a great job uh, just running away with this. You can see our tires again 
are uh, suffering quite badly. We're going to come into the pits here, get off of our racing softs and go on to racing mediums, which we'll take through the remainder of the race. Pit lane entries at the top of this hill. You want to take that corner a little tighter than normal with a little less speed. And then I really flog it down through here and slip it a little bit in that corner. So there are our boys waiting to hook up the car with some fresh rubber. Earl did make it. Uh, let's see if you can spot him. Beautiful stop. So as we come out of the pit lane here, uh, you can see there's some, we might be coming out with some traffic. We're gonna actually jump on a car that's coming up the straight. If you look to the right there, you can see we're coming out of pit lane. This driver's on very warm racing softs and I'm coming out on cold racing mediums. So I definitely wanna keep them behind me so they don't hold me up. My tires are gonna be quite slow at the beginning part of this lap. So I'm just gonna stay on the inside of that corner. There's no way he's going around the outside there. Be patient and make sure I get good exit speed. I don't. I can't afford in the Group 4 Subaru to make any mistakes in the corners. I have to carry a lot of exit speed out. Hanging over to the right to kind of throw him off the center of the slipstream a little bit. Back over to the left, just to take this one wide. You can see his tires are just really, really scrubbing. At this point, mine are starting to warm up just enough that I have a touch of grip. And he wasn't really able to close up on us much there. Again, moving to the right to break the slipstream. I'm trying to work some temperature into the tires there, weaving back and forth a little bit. And I think we've just about gotten away cleanly. Good first corner. He has a little, little slip there. And that's going to put us in a good position to also be in open air with no one pressuring us from behind and no one holding us up in front. So we'll go back on board with myself. And we're going to fast forward through a whole bunch of laps. Uh, the order kind of stayed as was. We never did end up seeing Miss So Marvel um, completely ran away with it. TRX Dave was also doing very well. You can see we have a penalty here coming lap 22 up the straight and our friend Ford Fairlane again is in fourth so he's had a fairly clean race and it's coming up behind us we've got one more lap our tire situation we're on mediums uh, and at this point the mediums are still plenty grippy um, however I am not plenty grippy <laughs> I'm starting this is again the third race this day um, because I did so poorly in the first two. Just messed up my strategy in the first one and drove absolutely terribly in the second one. I had to apologize to a number of people in the room after, after it was over. So I'm just a little frazzled at this point. Uh, I drove fairly clean. It wasn't overly quick, but I got one more lap here to try to defend from Ford Fairlane. Now this two, um, for Ford Fairlane, he could stand to be more aggressive. Um, I wasn't really expecting he was going to try any crazy lungy moves. Even if he, as he comes up in here on my rear wing, he's definitely within range to do something. Um, I'm going to stay to the right hand side a little bit to defend to make sure I get a good exit. And really there, I expected he was going to pull up alongside me, but he's not able to as I get a good exit there. And we come around for a third place finish. I'm very happy about to get a podium, especially in a severely underpowered car as it were the first two races just really difficult again having to swing the subaru so wide in the corners if anyone even uh just nips a bumper right up alongside you it changes your line you're not able to use that entire corner the same way and then it throws you off your racing line and if i have a slow uh, cornering speed when i come out the car is even slower and then i just get left so i just needed some really clean laps I mentioned we were going to go on board with a couple other races here to take a look at what it, why qualifying is so important, particularly for my car in this track. Uh, you don't want to be in the middle of the pack. We're going to jump on board with ATK here and show you. This is right at the beginning of the race still. He is in ninth. He was even a little further back in pole or, uh, on his grid start. So you can see there's just there's cars everywhere. Um, what your practice racing line was when you're side by side with somebody, it doesn't exist anymore. You're playing off of them being beside you when they might slip ahead or when they might slip behind when you can do a move. Uh, we have a couple of penalties here. So ATK moves to the inside. He's gonna go for a move up. Oh, nope, he's gonna play it safe. Hold back a little bit. We 
you can see how much he's getting held up. He has a moment there, trying to get the car slowed down so he doesn't run into somebody. Newt goes a little wide, who I believe ended up setting the fastest lap. Um, if not this race, another race, both of those cars get penalties. It's a case of moving. We're gonna go three wide into the first corner. No, we're not. Looks like two wide behind Newt. ATK keeps a nice clean, leaves a little room on the outside. But you can tell all this fighting that he's having to do is just slowing him down considerably. And the amount of pressure, too. There's a car to his left, there's a car in front, there's a car in his rear. These guys have penalties. He's just playing like I did during the race. When someone has penalties like this, you can try to move uh, as soon as possible, but you're going to get by. So if it's going to cost you even more time, sometimes it makes sense just to let him too wide back there too. You can just see there's a ton of traffic here. ATK's worked up to the inside on the second to last corner. There's someone on his inside. Oof. And he finally breaks through. So now he's got open track. Much different lap uh, on this next one. His race is going to be much different. Hopefully he can pull away and get a better finish. We jump back to Supreme New York uh, who's going to have an opposite experience. Um, someone on his inside, you can see, he just gets nudged a little wide. Uh, nothing crazy there. It wasn't too terrible. I, I completely destroyed somebody else there in that corner in an earlier race. Uh, he's falling back a couple positions, though. Getting put out of position on one corner, it leads to being out of position on the next corner. Now he has fallen back two positions, and he has the close attention behind Edible Colombo, our friend there. Another very clean racer. Uh, kind of similar to Ford Failing, but you can't expect Edible Colombo if you're sleeping at all. It will make a move. Put you in his rearview mirror. So that's the importance of qualifying. You can see the difference there and how the, the laps start to progress. Jump over here and take a look at, this was the practice session right before my first race. You can see on the right there, we're making consistent 51s. Um, didn't do that at all in any of the races, so not that fast a lapse, uh, save for the final qualifier, the 151.99, which put us in position to get third place. Uh, so we'll take that today. Um, wish I could have driven a little better. I did feel like there was a P1 or P2 possible. Doesn't always work out how you plan. Regardless, here are our results, and got to be fairly happy with this for now. Uh, that third place was good enough for 138 points which puts us number one for Subaru in Texas, number one for Subaru overall, and number 130 in the North American region in the manufacturer series. Confirmed jump over to manufacturer's ranking. This is, uh, this is my first time doing well enough to actually contribute points to the overall manufacturer standing. I contributed four, <laughs> four points. Uh, feels good. As promised then, we're gonna head to Northern Italy into the little town of Monza for the Monza racetrack. This is a racetrack built in 1922. It's the third purpose-built motor racing circuit of the world following Brooklyn's and Indianapolis. We're gonna be doing the no chicane version. We'll take a look at that as we go around our first time. The race is gonna be at noon, clear weather. We are in the group three Subaru for this next round of the manufacturer series. Take a look there. Still looking great and green. Before we go out on the racetrack, we're setting here, this is how they balance all the different manufacturer cars for the races. So I'm making sure to set my power and my weight percentages um, to what they'll be during the race so that when I'm practicing, the car behaves the exact same way. Uh, which is why we also practice when it's the same time of day. It'll be similar track temps, similar lighting. We can use particular things for brake markers and turn in points and whatnot. You can see there's a lot more um, detail to be like tuned in cars in the manufacturer series. You don't have to do any of that. It's kind of all one sweep across the board, power and weight. Um, jump in the car, exiting curve parabolica, heading down the very long straight. There are a couple long straights at Monza. It's a super high speed racetrack. F1 hits over 200 miles an hour here, uh, regular well over 200 miles an hour. And this is even going to be faster, not over 200 miles an hour for us in the Group 3 car, but without this chicane here, which we're passing, look on the right, um, we're not going to be taking that chicane. So it's full speed into, this is Curve Grande. And this is our first time out. We're going to do a heavy lift. You can 
and see. I'm not quite sure what entry speed I need for that. We'll, we'll need for that corner in this race. We fast forward around again. Um, coming out of Herba, I'm going to try to take Herba Grande a little faster. So we're 167 miles an hour. Take a light lift. Close in. So we have more grip. I think we can probably take it flat out without lifting at all if we get our entry just right. Let's go around one more time and see. We're not going to do a full lap today. We're just doing a little testing on this first corner, showing you some of the things I have to go through to figure out corners for race. So no lift. Turning early. Very smooth. You can hear the tires are scrubbing there a bit, so that's going to cost us some tire wear for sure, but that corner can be taken flat out. There is still a chicane in this layout of the track right here. We're not taking it super well there, but that's going to be the end of... The racing for this video, we're going to take a walk around the Monza racetrack so you can get a look at what that looks like and where we're going to be racing in this next round two of the 2020 FIA manufacturer. I suspect that we may be unseated for the first place slot next week once this race takes place. It's likely that there's a faster driver for Subaru yet who wants to drive this group three race as opposed to this the group four race we just did this week. Since the Group 4 is so underpowered, a lot of the people that race tend to just stick to the Group 3 Subaru. But we shall see. Join me next week for the FIA Round 2 Manufacturer Series. Hope you're healthy and safe. Healthy? I hope you're healthy and safe. Oh, Earl showed up. Finally got here. Yeah, I made it, buddy. We're, we're, I made it to Italy. We're, we're in Italy, right? Yeah, this is Italy. All right. <laughs> what now? We're going to drive back to Texas practice freely yeah why don't you just practice here well my couch is in texas oh, fair enough <laughs> for myself and earl we'll see you next week be well